see it's a little off to the side so it's like a little asymmetrical almost has that same ring detail right here and you can kind of pull it a little bit if you want to expose the brass a little more the company that this is by is called
saw you really like the shorts and then the uh, skirt set. If I can make a suggestion, I think you should go for the skirt set. It's such a statement, but it's also neutral and easy. I just feel like it looks effortless and I love that you don't have to think about it because they both match and then you can just have some like, I would go with minimalist jewelry with this particular outfit. Yeah. Okay, so you want to do the skirt set. Alright, so I'm going to put that in the dressing room. Why don't you go change? Meet me back here and we'll start with the makeup, okay? Yeah, and if you need a size up or a size down, just let me know. Great. Alright, so are you ready to get started on the makeup portion? Great. Now, I know that the outfit fit really well. We also got a size down in the skirt. Did you want any accessories at all? Because Rachel can help you uh, after we're done with the makeup. Okay, yeah, no problem. Just take a look in the front. And if you decide you want to add anything to that, you can do so before you leave. Great. And can I get you a coffee? Something to drink before we start? Sure. Do you want it iced or hot? Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I even got you a straw just so you don't have to worry about messing up your makeup once it's done. Of course. Yeah, I did like an iced Americano. Those are my favorite. Would you like a sip or do you want me to put it down for you?
first since you are going for an evening 
so I'm going to add a little bit and then buff that into the hand because I don't want to put too much on at once. We can always add more. I'm just going to start buffing that, starting at the center of the face and working my way out. And I like to start with the coverage in the center and then diffusing it towards the chin and then down the neck this way. We have no lines of demarcation and just really using that product that we have on the brush and we can just lightly build on our base as we go along taking our time to just get you flawless
Just close. 
Mascara. 
lashes. Okay. I'll have to give it a try. I always love trying new things. TikTok always gets me. All right. Just do me a favor and close your eyes. So, I love this elf, buddy. 
Feliciate Skin, I'm sorry, Velvet Skin Blush in the color Cheeky. And what I'm going to do is, it's a beautiful poppy pink, nice, this is a little bit more of a cool tone, but nonetheless, absolutely gorgeous. We're just going to bump up the cheeks a little bit with that color, diffusing it nicely near the contour line, just everything. just a hint more and 
far as the face makeup goes is I'd like to add a little bit more powder under the eyes. I just find that it just kind of takes care of kind of blending the blusher because sometimes it comes a little bit high and diffusing that out. So I love adding a little bit of powder again just before we end the makeup application. Shadows and 
dry clean everything for you so you don't have to worry about taking care of that. Yeah. Okay, let me get my setting spray and you'll be on your way. So, just ensuring one last step that your makeup is going nowhere tonight. I have the Morphe setting spray. It's super lightweight, but just kind of locks everything in and is super refreshing. Thank <laughs> you. 